In this episode of Life in Germany, we take a quick hike out to some Celtic burial mounds in the area of Bad Abba, some seven kilometers southwest of the city of Regensburg in the province of Germany's Bavaria. Upper Michigan, God's country as it were. Vast forests, beautiful scenery, breathtaking sights, a small town in the middle of nowhere, that's where I come from. Where as Americans, we proudly wave the flag and stand for the flag. But in 2011, I married my wife, got on a plane and moved to Germany. And so after being here for 10 years, I decided it's time to tell my story and share my experiences as an American in Germany. So follow me, a normal dude with a GoPro, a drone, and sometimes a fancier camera. And I'll show you what it's like here. Come with me and experience life in Germany. Hey there, everybody. So, welcome back to another episode of Life in Germany. And like I said, it's been quite a while since uh, we made our last video. It's been, what, almost over a year now, or over a year. Um, and we just, it's been really busy. And so just with work and everything else, I, I've been working more because my wife's been at home because of our little girl. So I was not able to make any videos, but I do now have two months of um, paternity leave through the social system here in Germany. So we're gonna use that and I have the day off. So we're gonna go out and we're gonna try to find some Celtic burial mounds. So I was looking around on uh, the maps and I found that there was a place that was labeled um, Celtic burial grounds. So. I've been in that area before, but I didn't really notice them, so I thought that we'd go try it out and um, we'll see if we can find them. In order to inform myself a bit more about the Celts, I went ahead and did a quick search. And according to my five to 10 minutes of professional research, thanks History Channel, the Celts were thought to be in Bavaria between 750 to 13 BCE. When most people think of the Celts, they think of the British Isles and Ireland. But the Celts had territory spanning from Spain all the way through Turkey to the Black Sea. They were, however, eventually conquered by the Romans, the Slavs, and the Huns. And they were never really one unified kingdom or empire. They were more a collection of hundreds of tribal chiefdoms with a shared culture and distinctive language. And interestingly enough, they may have been the first Europeans to wear pants. So the area where we're at right now is a pretty cool little like mini forest, I guess you would call it. It's uh, it's full of a bunch of pines. They look like they're all, it's like a plantation forest for pines and whatnot. It's got a bunch of paths running through it everywhere. Um, and that is actually a stable, a horse stable right down the, down the way there. So all kinds of uh, signs of horses and whatnot are on here where they all go riding but it's a pretty cool little area There's lots of little mountain biking trails and everything else throughout the region of bavaria there are just so many areas where the ruins of old buildings or foundations are scattered around that it's hard to tell what is what and from what period it is at least for me lots of cool little gems around though that if you hike around long enough and search you'll find them so, I have to talk to you real quick because I warmed up the GoPro battery and I don't know how long I have before the thing cuts out. So, <laughs> I'm here in the woods. We're just a little bit away from the mountains. 
and uh, as you can see it's a really cool forest really pretty lots of tiny little mountain biking slash uh, walking trails and so now we're just walking through and see what we can see so hopped onto another little tiny trail here it goes looks like it should be right next to the mountains you can see them right there I always love these forests that are covered in moss on the bottom. There's so everything so nice and and soft and cuddly and comfortable. Looks like you just lay down and take a nap. Here we have the burial grounds that were indicated on the Garmin map. They're nothing spectacular. That is, they're not huge, but I estimate they are about five feet tall. From the quick reference that I did, Celtic burial mounds are dated between 750 BCE to 400 BCE. As reference, that would be the fall of the Northern Kingdom of Israel to the Assyrians in 722, first recorded Olympic Games held at Olympia, Greece in 776 BCE, and the fall of Babylon in 539 BCE. So these are, if my research is right, very old. So I was looking through the woods and I saw this little clearing back here and it saw, I, looks like I found another one but sometimes it's hard to see if, uh, if it's actually a burial mound or if it's just some kind of, you know, natural outcropping because uh, there's no markers, of course, but it looks suspiciously like it's man-made. So I think this is another one. And there's one of those really, really, really cool beech trees. Love them things. But this goes right along the trail. Here, there's another trail that you can see right here. Hop over to it. A little foot trail. A little four-wheeler trail too. So as you're coming along, if you really wouldn't, I mean, if you didn't think three times about it, um, yeah, you'd pass it up and you wouldn't know, but it's pretty cool. Celtic, uh, Celtic Barrier Mound here in Regensburg, Germany. Or actually, Bad Abach is this way, so right near Bad Abach. Pretty cool. <clears throat> I'm kind of actually tempted to throw up the drone here. As you can also see what the, the landscape looks like here, but it'd be kind of a cool little spot to launch it up. So. I think we're going to do that. Well, everybody, I hope with that um, you had a fun little time here. This is kind of a little mini episode, but you got to see a little bit of the surrounding area here between Regensburg and Bad Abach. And you got to go check out some cool hidden little Celtic uh, barrier mounds. That just goes to tell you that even if you've been through the forest numerous times or in a certain spot numerous times, you never know what might still be there that you hadn't seen before. So always get out there and check it out. And even if you have little tykes like this one here, strap them to your chest, hit out in the woods and see what, uh, every, uh, what, what the area around you has got to offer. Doesn't matter what you're doing, you can always find a way to, to make it happen. So with that, I hope you guys had enjoyed this episode and I hope to see you guys next time on Life in Germany. We'll catch you guys later. Take care.